Dear friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about Sankh Prakshalan along with physiological explanation. Basically, Sankh Prakshalan is a yogic cleansing practice for gastrointestinal tract. It means cleansing from mouth to anus. This practice purifies gastrointestinal tract within merely one to one and a half hour completely, which provides amazing experience and result to any practitioner within limited time span. Now the question, what is Sankh Prakshalan? Indeed, Maharshi Gheran explained about this practice in Gherand Sangita. Literal meaning of Sankh is conch. The word Sankh is intended to represent and describe the intestines with their cavernous and coiled shape. And Prakshalan means to wash completely. Means completely washing the intestines. For this purpose, we use lukewarm saline water and 5 asanas. Finally, we can say that this is a wholesome purging technique for gastrointestinal tract with the help of lukewarm saline water and a precise series of asanas. And one more thing, without using any kind of medication and without any side effects. For this practice, first of all, a practitioner has to drink lukewarm saline water up to 250 ml and then practice Tadasan. Tiryak Tadasan, Kati Chakrasan, Tiryak Bhujangasan, and Udrakarsan, respectively and each practice 8 8 times this will be single round like this series practitioner has to repeat till 5 to 6 rounds for sankh prakshalan now the question why lukewarm saline water you know due to salt intestines does not absorb water rapidly and water streams onward smoothly and due to lukewarm stagnant stool mucus and foodstuffs used to soak properly as well as remove frequently now the question is why tadasan first because tadasan opens the pyloric sphincter muscle which is a valve of stomach that used to control the flow between stomach and small intestine as it opens due to tadasan at that moment water enters into the small intestine after tadasan we do tiryak tadasan because our intestine configuration is like cavernous, like coiled shape. Hence, for passing water onwards, Tiryak Tadasan contracts both sides of intestinal layer repeatedly. Then water enters into the intestinal layer easily. Third asana is Kati Chakrasan. It twists whole smooth muscles of intestine. Due to pressure induced by twisting in Kati Chakrasan, water passes downward readily. Fourth asana of Sankh Prakshalan is Tiryak Bhujangasan. It opens the iliocecal sphincter muscle that is a wall which separates the small intestine and large intestine. 
it limits the backflow of large intestine contents into small intestine also by tiryak bhujangasan that ileocecal wall opens and saline water enters into large intestine fifth and last asan of sankh pakshalan series is udarakarshan it squeezes intestine due to that effect contraction and relaxation occurs and finally stagnant stool and mucus are eliminated along with saline water from gastrointestinal tract now we will discuss about mode of action of sankh pakshalan our first point is how does it encourages good bowel movement since this practice washes whole intestinal tract completely hence peristalsis movement becomes normal actually peristalsis movement is a progressive wave like contractions in intestinal tract which helps to pass food stuffs forwards thereby it encourages good bowel movement now we will come to the second point that is reduces bile pool and cholesterol by this practice duodenum which is the first part of small intestine where bile comes from gallbladder and mix with food for digestion due to good bowel movement duodenum digests food properly and digested food passes forward easily from duodenum thereby no any obstructions occurs in duodenum so bile acid pool used to be empty from gallbladder as per need easily therefore bile acid pool reduces since cholesterol is the main ingredient for bile therefore cholesterol used to consume for bile formation frequently thus level of cholesterol reduces also third point since it eliminates the stagnant mucus sometimes stagnant mucus prohibits absorption of ferrous ion and works as ferritin curtain in that state iron quantity often reduces in the body by this practice ferritin curtain removes and absorption of ferrous ion increases in the body and by this way level of iron increases in the body and formation of hemoglobin increases due to complete evacuation our gastrointestinal tract state becomes like a newborn baby gastrointestinal tract in that state multifarious hormonal balance takes place for homeostasis thereby it gives the balancing effect on hormones and induces parasympathetic dominance also since it purifies gastrointestinal tract naturally as we know that digestive system is the foundation of physical body if physical body eventually get easiness then mental body also becomes normal by this way practitioner repose and relax at physical and mental level whole body is rejuvenated at holistic level thus it provides metamorphosis means transformation which used to promote holistic health in life thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel for all the updates
do also remember to give your comments and share this video for awareness about yoga